Hey guys! So, about a month ago, I released a video spotlighting Empoleon, and I got pretty good feedback on it, so I've decided to make Pokemon Spotlight a monthly series. So, when it came time to decide who my next spotlight should be about, I figured who better than the mascot for my channel, Noctowl. Before I get into the video, if you would be so kind, please leave a thumbs up. Every like really helps a small YouTuber like me, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. As you probably know, Noctowl, the evolved form of Hoot Hoot, first made its appearance in Pokemon Gold and Silver, which were the first games of Generation 2. Hoot Hoot and Noctowl were Generation 2 signature flying type Pokemon, similar to the Pidgey line in Generation 1. Being introduced in Generation 2, it was around before the physical special split, and before that split, flying type moves were all considered physical. However, if you look at Noctowl's stats, you can clearly see it is a special attacker, not a physical attacker. So, prior to the physical special split in Generation 4, Noctowl never really reached its full potential, especially if you just stuck to its level up learn set. I mean, the only flying type move it learned naturally was Peck. Peck! It had a really crappy learn set. The only other flying type move it could learn was Fly, but Fly only did 70 damage in Generation 2. Noctowl could learn Confusion, as well as Hypnosis and Dream Eater, so it was able to take advantage of its higher special attack in this regard, but since Noctowl isn't a Psychic type, it couldn't take advantage of Stab. Compared to Pidgeot from the previous generation, Noctowl kinda sucked. Once Generation 4 got here, so did the physical special split, so now Noctowl could actually use flying type moves that benefited from its higher special attack and stab, such as Air Slash. Air Slash only has a power of 75, but it's still an improvement from before. It could also learn Psychic and Shadow Ball, which have 90 and 80 power respectively, and are good type coverage moves. At this point in time, Natures had also been introduced into the game. So if Noctowl had an attack raising nature such as Lonely, Brave, Adamant, or Naughty, Fly, now with a power of 90, could actually be a relatively effective attack for Noctowl as well. Moving on to Generation 5, nothing of any significance changed with Noctowl's stats or learn set. The reason I bring it up though is because the OGs on my channel will remember that I used the Noctowl in my very first Let's Play I ever did here, Pokemon Blaze Black and I ran into the issue of Noctowl's attack being significantly lower than its special attack, making its best attack option the aforementioned Air Slash. With the power of 75, it's not the ideal flying type move for a Pokemon to have as part of its final move set, and therefore Noctowl was also not the ideal flying type Pokemon to have as part of your final team. But, Pokemon did not end with Generation 5. The current generation of Pokemon, Generation 7, saw an increase in Noctowl's base special attack by 10 points. That's pretty significant. That obviously makes Air Slash and all other special moves stronger, but in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Noctowl can learn Hurricane. Hurricane is a special flying type move with a power of 110. As I said earlier, Noctowl first appeared in Pokemon Gold and Silver, which was released in November of 1999. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were released in November 2017. That's 18 years. It took 18 years for Noctowl to finally be able to learn a strong flying type attack that takes advantage of its high special attack and stab. It took the final release of the current generation of Pokemon games for Noctowl to finally reach its full potential. In a few months, we will start the next generation of Pokemon. Generation 8 will kick off with Pokemon Sword and Shield. We've learned a lot about these games so far. Like Generation 7's Alola, the Galar region will also have regional variants of existing Pokemon. We've already been shown Galarian Weezing, Zegzagoon, and Linoon, with Galarian Linoon even given a new third stage Galarian evolution. You guys know where I'm going with this, right? Since Noctowl has been around, Psychic type moves have been a significant part of its learn set. I think this is the perfect time for Noctowl to get a regional variant form for the Galar region. Noctowl is currently a normal and flying type, but I think a psychic and flying type Noctowl makes a lot of sense right now. And I am apparently not the only one who thinks so. In Pokemon Renegade Platinum, 
you guys will notice I'm always going to reference Pokemon Renegade Platinum. Drayano 60 modified Noctowl to be a Psychic and Flying type. He also boosted Noctowl's special attack and special defense by 20 points each, but that's beside the point. In reality, Noctowl should have been a Psychic and Flying type Pokemon from the start. Who knows? If it is given a Galarian form, maybe it'll even be given a third stage Galarian evolution, but I digress. Since Generation 2, Noctowl has gradually gotten better and better, and I think it has the potential to continue to get better. I didn't mention this about Hurricane earlier, but it does have an accuracy of only 70%. Those of you familiar with my Let's Plays know that I tend to prefer attacks with higher accuracy even if they may not be quite as strong. For example, I prefer Flamethrower over Fire Blast or Thunderbolt over Thunder. I think it would be a nice addition to Generation 8 if they came out with a good special flying type move with the power of around 85 or 90 with the high accuracy that Noctowl can learn. If not in Generation 8, I hope that a Psychic and Flying type Noctowl eventually is a thing, even if they just add the Psychic typing to its current form. Tweaking older Pokemon like this is a good way to keep those Pokemon relevant and to keep people coming back to these games. As you can probably deduce from the name of my channel, Noctowl is a favorite of mine. It's one of the few Pokemon that I like mainly due to its concept and design as opposed to its usefulness, or lack thereof, in Pokemon games. Even though it took 18 years, I'm glad that Noctowl has been improved since its initial release, and I hope that these improvements continue. A Galarian Noctowl would be a good excuse for me to use one again on my Pokemon Sword or Shield team. Now that I've given my spiel on what I think about Noctowl and the changes and improvements it has gone through since its initial release, it's your turn to tell me what you think. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Noctowl and if you think it should get a Galarian form. Like I said at the start of this video, I'm going to make this a monthly series, so if there's any Pokemon you would like me to do a spotlight video on, let me know down in the comments as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.